Welcome to the Division of Environment and Sustainability. My name is Paul Forster, and I'd like to tell you something about the BSc in Environmental Management and Technology. If you're watching this, you already understand that we are living on a wonderful and amazing planet. But after 150 years of industrial development, we are facing a number of problems that are challenging how we live our lives, how businesses are uh, functioning, and how governments need to respond to the environmental challenges that we are facing. Companies, most companies, are aware of the impact that they are having on the environment, and some companies are starting to act on this through corporate sustainability, to be more transparent in their reporting of an environmental activities impacts, um, and some companies are pursuing environmental strategies that allow them to be profitable and to reduce their environmental impacts. What this means is that there's more demand for people that can advise companies, work with companies on how to use their environmental investments to, uh, um, to create value and at the same time remain profitable. If you get a degree in environmental management and technology, what could you do? Over the past few years, we've found about 50% of our graduates go into corporations primarily in directly involved in environmental activities and many in more conventional jobs. Um, about 15% join consultancies where they advise companies on what they can do to reduce their environmental impacts. Another 15% join NGOs or nonprofit organizations um, where they are actively involved in environmental activities. Another 15% um, go to further studies, studying master's degrees or PhD programs in fields as diverse as law, education, and sustainability. And then 5% go on to, uh, to a path less traveled, and they follow uh, a different unconventional path, including starting up their own companies. The program is an interdisciplinary program, and this is important because if you look at universities, you will not find any particular home for solving environmental problems. So what we do in the Division of Environment and Sustainability is to bring together experts from business, sciences, engineering, social sciences, in order to solve the problems um, and the challenges for corporations um, uh, looking at environmental problems. This is important because uh, knowledge is created not only by going deep into a field, but also by bringing fields together and creating new knowledge. Over the four years of your education, you will find that we have foundation courses, we have specialty courses, um, culminating in a capstone project where you can apply your knowledge um, in the real world, and you have room for minor programs, individual research, internships, cap uh, exchange opportunities, and all the opportunities that come from being at a world-class university. There are foundation courses that we think are important for building competency in the field. You will have common core courses from the university that are uh, important for developing um, breadth in your education. And you almost have a year full of free elective courses or elective courses where you can develop competency in your particular area, follow a particular interest, um, or develop a specialization of, that you think is important for your future. We have a lot of experiences outside the classroom that are uh, an important part of your education in environmental management and technology. We have study trips every year. We have overseas opportunities, exchange programs, um, the Capstone Project, and you also have all the rich, in, rich environment of the university for case competitions, for um, meeting the alumni, for seminars and talks that go on all the time at the university. Every year we have a study trip. Um, we usually have one that's in the near vicinity, and then we have something that goes further. And these give you an opportunity to watch in, in the real world how people are responding to, how they are managing the, the challenges that they face. Internships opportunities abound at the university. You will find that this is an important part of your own development for developing the skills, the professional skills, before you go out onto the market. In the last year, we have a capstone project of which we are particularly proud, where you will work with a corporate partner on a real-world problem in real time. You can take your learning outside the classroom, um, couple it with your professional skills, work with executives for two semesters, and, and students tell us this is one of the most rewarding experiences that they have in the program. The best part of the program, I have to say, is are the students themselves. One of the great 
things I find about working in the Division of Environment and Sustainability is that the students, the faculty, everybody is very, very passionate about the, um, the, the environment, trying to make a difference, looking for jobs and trying to find careers where we can um, have a meaningful career and at the same time do something good for the world. If you're interested in joining us at the BSc in Environmental Management and Technology, please go to our website, envr.ust.hk, where you'll find, admission, you'll find admissions information, you'll find statistics, and you'll find further information on how to complete an application. Thank you for listening.